Hi everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm actually going to be showing everyone, oops, not my friends list. Uh, today I'm actually going to be showing everyone a couple things about the peddler event. Number one, I wanted to mention, you do need to actually collect your coins. Seems like, you know, it's a no-brainer, but some people did not know that, apparently. Um, other thing that I wanted to mention, during the event, there is actually a quest that you do. You go and collect five firewood and talk to the peddler. All you need to do. So basically, let's get started. Let me show you what this peddler event actually is. So first thing, you go to either port scene, which you just seen me do. And if he's not here, he's going to be at port cob. So let's see if he's at port scene. I'm actually not sure which one he would be at. When he's here, he's usually around this area. Honestly, for some days, it's like he's always over here, and for other days, it's like he's always over there. Okay, so he is over here today. I believe it changes every mobby day, but I'm really not sure on times. So first thing, you can open up the peddler shop. Every single day, these will end up changing, and you can have different things. The things that I would recommend getting are the things that you need for cash shop. I would not recommend getting now stones. I would recommend getting um, enchant protection potions if you do a lot of enchanting. Um, maybe a trade unlock potion. Those are always really helpful. Um, some red upgrade stones of protection. I don't really think it's worth it, but you know what? If you're going to do it until level 5 anyways... Um, or until level six, go and do it. Like, what? what's wrong with that? Um, as you can see, it's a lot cheaper for the five though, for the uh, red upgrade stone of luck. I would get the luck and then I would get the protection, just a heads up. Um, there's also double life skill EXP potions. Again, really good items. However, um, or artisan upgrade remover, I did end up end up getting the um, proficiency hammers, um, and the reason why is because there's a couple items that are very, very good when you get the proficiency up, and they're hard to get up, but we'll go into that here in a minute. I do want to end up mentioning the peddler box, and the reason why I want to mention the peddler box is because basically this peddler box is one of the best items in here, I think. And the reason why is because you can get some really, really good items. So let me start off by saying I have only gotten the traditional Korean outfit a few times. Um, I've gotten it once for male and once for female, or twice for male and once for female. I've gotten a lot of food from this. Um, I've gotten some homestead seeds. Not really a lot of good things that I've gotten. But I know my guild leader ended up getting the, um, the wig that you get from here and that wig currently sells for about four to five million so really really good it's like a gotcha pawn in itself so i'm gonna go over here this is the actual event so as you can see peddler event i'm able to see everything here sorry if it's a little bit choppy um so as you can see it started on march 29th and it's uh going through april um, 18th so nine more days as of today you have to go and do this you can read everything here if you'd like during the last week it's very good to log on just to get the peddler coins here's all the event rewards and you can see here what days they actually sell uh, peddler box sells every day now stone every day um, Everything else has its individual days. Okay, so here's what the peddler box contains. The traditional Korean outfit, something I wanted. Uh, traditional Korean giants outfit, so there's a different one for giants. There's shoes, um, bandana, Korean hat. Uh, here's the wig right here. 
This is the wig that you want. The pigtail with charms wig. Our braided pigtail with charms wig. This is the one that sells for about three to five million right now. Everything else doesn't even compare to this. The uh, traditional Korean outfit, I've seen it a few times from anywhere from like 100k to 1 million in the Dunbarton shops. The big thing that everyone wants is the braided pigtail with charms wig. Um, or wig with charms. If you get that, you are getting the best thing in this box. So first thing that I want to end up saying before I end up getting a few of these, I've collected 32 coins as of right now. Um, actually going to close all these and end conversation here. So as you can see, oh, didn't actually put them through. One second for that. Let's see, where did my charms go? I should have 33 in total. 33, right here. I'm gonna put those charms right there so everyone can see them just a little bit better. And let's see this. So click on the peddler. That should get me a few. Peddler box. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and one more so I'm actually only going to be opening up one of these and I'm going to be opening up the other 10 inside of my first um, event gachapon opening I'm not going to be doing gachapons most likely but I will be doing event gachapons so any slightly um, gachaponish events I'm going to be getting the boxes I'm going to be showing all of you what I get from them so this is going to be what I got. Okay, so I got the bandana, the handbok bandana. That is something that I needed, so I'm going to put that in my dressing room. Let's see. Put it in the dressing room. And I think that that's going to be the end for this video. I hope all of you like the video. I hope all of you subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Talk to you then. Peace.